Good day, viewers. Welcome back to our mathematics class. Today's class, we're going to be talking about standard form. A standard form is a method of writing, or let me say, a scientific method of reducing the burden of writing larger numbers or smaller numbers. A standard form is of the form a multiplied by 10 raised power n, where this a is our own number from 1 to, to 10 to 9, then multiplied by 10 raised power n, where this n can be the positive or negative numbers. So it can be 3, it can be minus 3, or any one. Example 1. Express the following in standard form. The first one, what we got one? Five. We want to express five in standard form. Don't forget, our standard form must be of the form A multiplied by 10 is power N. So if we only have one digit number, which is five. So we have five multiplied by 10 is power. So what are you going to put here at the raised to power to give us one? It is zero according to our indices. 10 raised to the power 0 is 1. 1 multiplied by 5 will give 5. So the standard form of 5 is 5 times 10 raised to the power 0. Second one, 50. Now we're going to have A. Shift your decimal points this way. So this gives 5.0. When you are moving forward, that is positive. If you are moving backward, that you give negative. So moving forward, how many times do I move forward? I move forward one time. That is 10 raised to the power 1. 10 raised to the power 1. Or, you see, how many digits are after this 5? We have just one digit. That is 1. Now, the third one, 500. So let's move. 1, 2. So I have 5.00 multiplied by 10 raised to the power I've moved forward twice, that is power 2. Because I'm moving forward, it is positive. If I'm moving backward, it is negative. Roman, we got 4, 5, 1, 7, 2, 0. Now let us move. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 5.1720 multiplied by 10 is power. I'm moving forward four, four times, that is 3 is power 4. The fifth one, I have one, two, six, seven, zero, zero, zero. So I move one, two, three, four, five, six. I have one point two six seven. If you like, you can put it zero zero. If you like, you might omit it. So we have multiplied by ten is power. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six. This power six. Then the last one, vi, we have. 32.4. Don't forget, the decimal point will be at the back of the first digit number. We are moving like this once. So that is 3.24 times 10 raised power. You are moving forward once, this power 1. Example 2. Express the following in standard form. So we want to express this in standard form. We have 0 0.471. Don't forget. We are going to move this decimal point to the back of the first digit number. And the fourth digit number here is 4. So moving it here. So since we are moving backward, as I explained, it's going to be negative. That is 4.71 multiplied by 10 raised to the power. So this decimal point, that is minus. Then how many times do we move? 1. So this point is minus. Then we move one time to the back. That is 1. The second one. 0 0.0462 so we have 1, 2 so we have 4.62 multiplied by 10 is power negative point changes to minus we move twice to the back that is 2 and sometimes we can even calculate the number of zeros that comes before the digits so 1, 2 when this decimal point is negative the number of zero we have 2 when the decimal point is negative, the number of zero we have one. The third one, so we have 
one, two, three. That is six point six two eight. Multiply by ten is power. So the decimal point is to minus. We move three times. That is three. So this is how to get the standard form. Then we now move on to given an ordinary form. How do we go take it back to standard form? Ordinary form of standard form. When we are given a standard form, we want to look at how to take it back to ordinary form. Example one, express the following ordinary form. The first one, we have 3.13 multiplied by 10 is power 2. That is 3.13 multiplied by 10 is power 2 can be written as 100. That is two zeros. Now, we now look at this. At the back of this decimal point, how many digits do we have? We have one, two, two digits. You can't do these zeros. That is two zeros there. Then our final answer will now be you move away this point. We have three, one, three. So the, 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 these two zeros are taking care of the two digits that is here. So we have 313. The second one, 1 1.36 times 10 is power 4. So we have 1.36 times 10 is power 4 means four zeros. One, two, three, four. At the back of this decimal point, we have two digits, one, two. So we take away two zeros. So when we take away this point, we have one, three, six. How many zeros do we have left? Zero, zero. That is 13,600. So this is the ordinary form of this standard form. How have we got three? We have 4.29 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 2. This gives 4.29 multiplied by 10 to the power minus this minor, don't forget this decimal point. So we have zero point first. Then since it's two, then this is one zero, this is the next zero. Then you put your one, one. Okay? So now when you multiply this, this 0, 0.0 will come forward, 0, 0.0, then this minus will be taken away. 4, 2, 9. So this is the ordinary form of this standard form. Multiple four. We have 5.73 times 10 is power minus 3. So it becomes 5.73 multiplied by 10 is power minus 3 means 0. Point. This is 3 here. And one of the zeros is here. It's meant two zeros. One, two. Then you put your one. Now, taking this one forward. So we have 0. 0.00. Then I write this value 573. So this is the way of solving ordinary form by taking a standard form to ordinary form. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You kindly click the red subscribe word and click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. And do not forget to share to other learners in order to benefit immensely on this channel. Thank you very much.